we'll start with DLC scenario. So we'll use this uh, single SC connector that we will um, inspect just to see if it's good or let's say bad or clean or dirty. So I have my probe with the LC tip. This tip is for the bulkhead, so I use my single SC with a bulkhead just to simplify the analysis. As you see on the screen on my cell phone, the um, doesn't seem to be very clean. So we'll clean that connector. Yeah, it's a fail with very a good amount of dirt in the core of the fiber. So what we do to um, use the uh, wet dry cleaning solution, I use my, uh, my swipe cube. What I do, I use my electro wash pen and I put a solution, as you see, that's the wet solution in the corner of my wipes. So I'm gonna use my single connector to, let's say, apply the wet solution, doing little circle with the connector, wiping on the wipes, and touching the solution. And I take the, the dry surface of my cloth or, or uh, wipe, and I drew I lines, uh, vertical lines, three lines, two, let's say, four lines to dry or polish, let's say, the interface of my connector. I just reuse my bulkhead to validate that it's now clean and it appears to be way better. So we have a pass. We will continue with the LC duplex scenario. So I have my two LC connected in a LC bulkhead cassette. For the two LC um, side by side, it's as easy as cleaning them as I did with my single SC using the electro wash pen and the QBE cube. So we will have a look at the scenario when you have the bulkhead and the LC. So since you don't have access inside the bulkhead, you cannot use the QBE cube as in the scenario of the single LC or dual LC that connects inside these bulkhead. So to have access to that, what we need to do is still use the electro wash and when you need to do wet dry and use the IBC clicker for LC. So first thing first, I'm gonna have a look what is the situation of my connector using my probe. That's bad and dirty. So the probe tells me it's a fail, of course, with a big dirt uh, or oil just inside the ferrule. So using the wet dry will be a good uh, play here. So I'm using I'm using my electro wash pen. What I do is because it's kind of tricky to put the pen inside the bulkhead connector, and you have a high risk to insert too much fluid inside the assembly. So one good way, best practice, is still to wet a corner of the wipes. Use your L, L clicker, remove the portion that is acting like a bulkhead. You just pull the first section as I see. You pull the section and then when you look at that you see the cloth and you just dip the tip of the clicker where you have your wet solution on the wipe. You just put some liquid solution on the tip of the clicker. After that, you just use the clicker as you need to, clicking one, two, for the wet solution. 
and I recommend four click after to dry and polish. So now we'll see the effect with using the probe, of course. Looks like it's better and I have a pass on my probe and a pass on my screen. So that's, let's say, a good way to use wet, dry, using a clicker to have access inside the LC bulkhead. We will review the MTT MPO scenario. So I have a uh, cable assembly here with uh, two MTO connector, MTT connector, uh, one pin, one unpin. I'm gonna try to show you the pin on the connector. It's not easy to see. Well, yeah, we see them right there, okay. We see the pin at the end of the black plastic piece. And this one is a unpin. Of course, when you want to mate the connectors, you have the pins on this connector get into the guiding holes on the other connector and assure the perfect alignment of the two ferrule, then the 12 fiber are at a great physical contact because of the pin alignment with the guiding hole, guiding pin, guiding hole. So, these pin create a situation. It's tough to clean, apply, let's say, a wet solution and use the um, wipes to uh, clean or polish the wet solution because of the pin. When you have the unpinned one, it's easier. You can use the QB tube. That's the reason why, let's say, companies like US Connect have developed clicker with the right, let's say, configuration or dimension to very effectively clean between the pin of the connector. Okay? And this, this cloth or this tissue can also be wet with the electro wash pen. Okay? So the first thing we'll do is to validate that let's say our connector is how it is clean or not, so I still use my pin example. I take this special bulkhead adapter that goes with the FIP and the new um, FIP T400MF automated MPO tip, okay? On this automated uh, bulkhead, I have a FIP side and a fiber side. So I respect the key, key up, key up, I connect fiber first, I earn my click, I then click FIP side key up with this one and you will see the fiber appear on the interface. I see my four fibers. This tip is catching, let's see, in three acquisition, uh, um, three sets of four fiber for the 12 connector or three sets of um, eight fiber for two rows of 12. So when I have this view, I make sure that my focus is well on the side, the green bar. I take a picture. I see the uh, feedback. The picture is taken. I just move the, um, the, the interface. And then you have seen, let's say, did the fiber move. I take my second picture. I see my feedback. And then I move at the third position, like the wizard asked me to do. Then you saw it move, and we see the guiding hole there, the guiding pin, sorry, there. I take my fourth um, uh, picture. Then I let the tool do its acquisition, one fiber at a time. Okay, So I'm going to see in succession the 12 fiber being analyzed, and I'm going to see if it's pass or fail. Okay. And when I have, let's say, used my view, I saw that there was no main dirt 
but I see now that fiber one is failed, fiber two is failed, three, four, pass, five, six, seven, eight, seven, fail, eight, nine, pass, ten, eleven, fail, so finally I need to clean, okay? That's what I mean, that's what it means. So, the situation is I need to put some wet solution on my tip of one clicker, one cleaner, Cle cleaner, clicker, cleaner, sorry about that. So to achieve, let's say, uh, to not put so too much with, with wet solution on directly on the tip by, let's say, applying directly, what I can do is, it's best practice, I push my pen, I put my wet solution, you see the dot again, as we saw in the other situation, and I gently, let's say, apply some liquid, and I see that it's wet, okay? Wet, but not overspilled, if I can say. So, of course, I will have, let's say, less issue to clean my pen like that. I reinstall my bulkhead plastic piece on the e clicker. I respect the key again, key down in that case. One time, two time for the wet. Now I'm, I'm in the dry section because the wet is kind of gone in this uh, piece. So I recommend three or four click for the polishing, okay? Next step, of course, I just reuse my bulkhead. Always insert your bulkhead fiber first. Here the click. Put a live video here request. Push your tip forward and put your key up. Okay. So now we see the fiber. I take a picture, I see the feedback, I'm oh, sorry, I move, see the fiber move, take another picture, move in the third spot as it asks me to do, I see my last section of the fiber row, with the guiding pin, take a picture again with the picture button, see the feedback, and then fibers are appearing. Fiber one that will be analyzed and it will go from one to 12. So first was, is now, so you see, uh, one, two is still fail, so I will need to clean again, okay? Uh, or polish a little bit, maybe just a dry situation. So if I want to see better view of my fiber two, I just have to move. Okay, well, that actually it's a scratch. Okay, so this kind of scratch will not be removed by a wet dry. So in that case, this fiber jumper is just unusable. Well, unusable. The core is not affected, but the scratch is very inside the core section. So it's going to be always a fail. Okay. even if probably I can use it. So now I go to five. My dirt is outside of my clad. It may be, it's a spot. And here, it's still a dirt outside the core section. So it's not a disaster, but of course, because it's a rather big um, piece of, let's say, artifact or dirt, um, I'm gonna have a fail on that one. So I can re-clean this connector using again the wet dry, but as I said, never expect this number two fiber to, let's say, um, polish the scratch. 